Y escuchaba este pregón Anda chiquilla bonita Y asómate y al barco Traigo la boca más fresca La boca y el camarón Por eso chiquilla hermosa Por eso chiquilla hermosa Ven y canta y ni pregón Ay, por eso sí que ya hermosa, por eso sí que ya hermosa, ven y canta en mi prego. Por eso sí que ya hermosa, por eso sí que ya hermosa, ven y canta en mi prego. Hanerol's cigarettes, first and foremost, cool as hell. Each one's just like uh, its own little work of art, you know? This is something I made. This is something that. I get to take a little bit of credit for. You know, every time I'd roll a cigarette, I'd feel like I was actually kind of building a skill. It's very fresh. It doesn't taste like it has so many additives, and uh, it's not all dried out from sitting in a package plastic wrap for five years, so I don't know, it's just nice. It's, it's your creation, you know? You're putting some love into it, you know? And then you, get to, then you get to love it some more when you smoke it, you know? You can use better papers for it. You can use better tobaccos. and As long as you're not in a time crunch, yeah. Well worth it. Um, es dauert Zeit, eine schöne Zigarette selber herzustellen und die Gedanken und, und die Überlegung, die da rein passt, ist alles wie in einem Kunstwerk. Obviously, no two people roll exactly the same. Even people who learn from the same person, uh, they end up with their own interesting and tiny little nuanced way of doing it. You know, everyone's got their own little touch, everyone has their own, I mean, it's just how whatever works for you. I think half the times the techniques vary because when you learn to do it, it's like you and your underage friends sneaking around smoking cigarettes trying to be cool. There's, you know, there's kind of a stigma on it. You can't just go ask like some adult to teach you how to roll cigarettes. Yeah, so I fing an zu rauchen, als ich so 15, 16 war mit billige Zigaretten, zum Beispiel Lucky Strikes und, und Candles und so Sachen. Und als mein Vater es davor hatte er mir vorgeschlagen, dass ich das Hand drehen, auch lernen sollte. Also es war meinem Vater seine Idee. I mean, I originally learned how to roll from um, this giant metalhead Viking guy from Seattle. And he would just sit on his couch in his house all day just rolling. When I was bored, I'd just go over there and try to, try to roll on my own and I was terrible. Oh man, uh, there's, a, there's a long period of frustration when you, when you start, when you first begin to roll cigarettes. <laughs> I rolled a lot of really, 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 really bad ones. When I went on the road, it was like, does anyone have a cigarette? And I'd be like, yeah, I'll roll you one. And it would just be like this monstrosity, and it's like falling out one side. Uh, as I recall, yeah, there, there was some initial frustration, but after a few times, you, you get over that, you kind of learn it. Wie bei allem, wenn man was Neues lernt, uh, es dauert eine Weile. Um, ich glaube, es war mit Sicherheit wochenlang oder monatelang, bevor ich die erste perfekte Zigarette hergestellt habe. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think there actually was a moment. It wasn't. It wasn't until uh, another friend's mom taught me the um, the uh, the method to packing it down, and I feel like that's when it really really came together for me. And it was just like, oof. Um, I was sitting at a picnic table at some festival. I have no idea where, and. I was doing the step where you kind of uh, pack the tobacco down, and I always screwed it up when it came time to tuck it under and do the actual roll. One time I just accidentally got it to work, because I was, I was like, how do you do that? Do you like cram it under there? And then it would become all lopsided and misshapen. So yeah, one time while doing the packing step, it just automatically did this perfect roll. I was like, oh, that's what I'm going for this whole time. You know, I'd always try so hard to like roll the thing like perfectly that I would like, constantly I'd just put so much pressure on it, I'd just rip it in half, like I would just, I was overthinking like every aspect of it. Um, and then there's just that one moment, you just realize it kind of rolls itself up. If you just slip, you just slip it just right and just make the smoothest of motions, the thing wants to roll. My procedure is, you first uh, grab the paper, and you, you fold it, so you, you, obviously your sticky part is above your thumbs, and the non-sticky part is below your thumbs. 
Also wie gesagt, in meiner Familie drehen wir verkehrt herum. Also, das Klebestoff befindet sich auf der Seite nähest dem Rauches. What I usually do to keep it from blowing around and moving around is sit the papers on the side to keep it steady. Uh, I like to use filters because number one, it's really harsh when you don't. Um, I also think it's nice because it makes the circumference of the cigarette uniform the whole way across, which makes it easy to get the, the last step to get it nice and straight. We're gonna start off with two little kind of separate piles. I have a little bit of a valley in the middle. And this is because when you're rolling tobacco specifically, it compresses a lot and it's gonna kind of fill in. So, you know, you get the, the tobacco in there, you pat it down, get it nice and smooth, nice and flat. I find personally it takes me a long time to do this part and it pays off in the end. Und dann fängt man an mit dem Drehen. Thumb and index on the tobacco. You roll it down, you roll it up, you massage a little bit. This is important here, the actual roll. If you want it to have a nice, you want it to be round. Sometimes it come out all lopsided and floppy and that's not fun. And then the tricky part, the part that I had the most trouble with at first was bring it down, tuck, bring it back up, roll it up nicely. That cigarette shape right there, you just kind of fold it over. All the way down. And just do a little bit of a roll there. And you've basically got your shape of the, t of the cigarette right there. And then roll my thumbs up and outwards. Roll it most of the way up, give it a lick. And just do a quick little roll straight up like that. And then I tend to take the excess tobacco out of there. We can go ahead and just kind of trim up the ends a little bit. Save this tobacco for another cigarette. This side, I'll just give it a little pack down. This is what I like to do is give it the twist here. But this is what I'm talking about. This is this is where it all came together for me. But his mom taught me this is, you know, this is what they do back in the day. You just get it all packed down. Take out the excess and tap it down. This kind of packs it in a little bit. There it is. And voila. And there we go. Unfit. And there you go, pretty decent. It's not a perfect work of art, but it'll smoke. So my, my advice for any, any new smoker would be the same advice that was given to me. Buy a pack of cheap tobacco, one that comes with the papers, and roll a ton of cigarettes. Just roll one after the other. Um, you know, rolling a cigarette, especially a nice one, uh, it's, it's gonna take time, it's gonna take dedication. Geduld ist das Wichtigste. It's unfortunate that it's so much fun to roll and smoke cigarettes. Yeah, it's kind of a conflict that way. A lot of fun, seems harmless, but then it's ultimately just terrible for you. So uh, I, I smoke frequent enough to where I, I too think about that. I've never really talked to anybody about that. I totally like, yeah, it's on the back of my mind. Like, you know, <laughs> about a block from my apartment is that uh, that counter you know, that says there have been this many deaths this year from smoking. And I see that almost every day when I pull out. So, you know, it does cross my mind, obviously, but... I think eventually I'll quit smoking, realistically. Eventually, you know, it's gonna grow old in me, and I already know it's gonna happen. Uh, I just kinda don't worry about it. <laughs> like, it's there, like, I think about it, and I'm like, shit, this is probably not good, but at the same time, I'm just, you know... Yeah, I don't, I don't plan on smoking tobacco forever, I don't think. Yeah, I, I should quit. I, honestly, I really should quit. I'm not even kidding. Fuck. Das Rauchen aufzuhören. Nein. casa <laughs> <laughs>
de mi padre, te de amo sin peso y con el amor, defenderé la casa de mi padre, me moriré, se perderá mi alma y mi prole, me moriré, pero la casa de mi padre, mi padre, se irá en pie, tiene poder, <risa> 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 la pena es la vida, <risa> 